what is up everyone welcome back to another Figma unboxing and today I'm taking a look at this usually I don't do unboxings for Figma but usually they don't come in a box this huge I think this is the biggest Figma box I've ever seen ignoring the Figma tank but anyway let's see what we've got First off through the window there you can't see a whole lot besides Femto himself. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention this is Figma SP80 Femto Birth of the Hulk Darkness version. And this is from the Berserk movie or really from anything from Berserk really. But anyway through the front of the box there you can't see a whole lot. Just Femto himself. And I don't know, Figma have been a bit sketch lately. This isn't by Max Factory, this is by Freeing. But so far those little pink lips that's looking a little bit strange. But anyway, flipping that around to the side, and as you can see, there is the Behelit base this thing comes with. The whole stand is one big, massive, awesome display piece. And if it looks half as good as it does here on the box, anyway, flipping around then to the other side, and there is Femto by himself without the stand, looking like he's got a nice gloss paint there as well as metallic, looking good. The pink doesn't look as harsh on the box as it seems to look in here. But anyway, I guess we'll find out once we get it out. And there is the back of the box where we can see everything that is going on in here. So again, that Behalit base looks insane. There is the rest of the God Hand, which will put you back a pretty penny. These things are not cheap. But anyway, as always, let's bust this thing open and see what we've got. So there is that clear inner packaging and I still can't get over those pink pink lips. They look a little bit ridiculous. A little bit distracting, but I guess it's not out of the box yet. But anyway, first you can see the figure itself, then the wings there in the back. Down on the bottom there we seem to have the hands Figma bag and the usual. Flip that around to the back and there is that huge Behelet stand. That looks fantastic so far, but anyway, let's get them out of this packaging. Man, I don't know what to start with first. Should I start with the base or the figure? I guess I'll go from the top, which is the figure. So let's get that tape out of the way. Flip that around to the other side. And it seems like there's only two pieces of tape on this. Actually, I spoke too soon. There's probably going to be a third one at the bottom. Fucking tape. All right, off comes the top, which is just the figure. Let's move this off to the side and get him out of there. So far looking a bit skinny, but then again, it is Griffith. Okay, and that tape is still in the way, but let's get the top off that. First off, getting all that stuff out of the bottom, out of the way, there is that Figma bag, which you've seen countless times before. In here, then we have that stand, the base, and the hands all looking pretty damn cool there. There is the instructions and this is pretty big. For a Figma, this is huge. Basically how to stick him into the stand, what's included in here, how to put the wings on and that is in both English and Japanese as usual. So of course then is the main event and that is the figure itself. All in all that looks pretty cool. The paintwork is as epic as you would expect with a Figma and the sculpt is pretty awesome too. Again, those lips are incredibly pink. Can you take the front off this head? Doesn't look like it. So I guess that right there is what you're stuck with. Anyway, I'll keep all that for the review move that out of the way for now. Next section then, and that seems to be a part of the wings or cape. I'm not even sure what you'd refer to those as. Anyway, again, in gloss, this is actually two pieces. I was going to say it was one piece, but no, it's two. Again, that looks really damn cool. Definitely getting an Aliens vibe off of this here. On to the third layer of the box and what we've got now is the rest of the wing cloak. There is one side and there is the other. Again we've got a connection point up here that's for attaching to the shoulder and one joint right there. Again looking good so far. And last up and to me this is the main event and the reason I bought this version. Behelet display piece. It looks awesome. Okay let's get this out. So first off, there is the main section, kind of reminds me of an easter egg, a really demonic evil easter egg. It's got a bit of extra packaging, whoops, in there. So as you can see, that's where that part comes off. I assume that's part of the part for connecting on Femto. Connect that back on. Let's give that a quick spin. There is the eye and the mouth. So far, that looks pretty cool. There's the line where it separates. Moving that all the way around, we've got this little kind of bug-like wing thing here. Man, that looks really, really cool. Next up is this section again, looking like a wing. Ah, I assume this is for attaching onto Femto for when he's in there. 
and this is probably the same, yep. So I guess this part here attaches somewhere onto one or the other. I'm guessing more than likely here. But anyway, that is it for the unboxing. This is, so far, it looks like one hell of a Figma. The only down point I've seen is those lips. They do look a little bit like overly pink. On the box, they're a nicer pale color that looks better than what's on it. I'm not sure if this is actually the case with all of these. So if you have this figure and the lips on yours are the same or different, make sure to let me know down there in the comments. But anyway, that is it for the unboxing. Make sure to come back for the review and I'll see you next time.